Hello there. I know it's a little quiet at the moment, but I couldn't help but notice you here. Welcome to Kami Game Shop. I know it's quite small, but appearances can be deceiving. This place stocks so many rare cards and games that keep our customers coming back again and again. I... I don't actually own this place. I'm actually looking after it for the owner. But he is away at the moment. He was complaining about back pain, but I think he was just using it as an excuse to get me to clean the place instead of himself. That being said, <laughs> he is an older man, so I can't blame him. <laughs> so, if you ever need any advice, recommendations on games, or friendly tips, I'd be more than happy to assist in this place. We have a variety of games in the store, from basic board games and puzzles to even newer additions like Dungeon Dice Monsters and Duel Monsters. Take all the time you need, and if you need any help, don't be afraid to ask. You seem rather shy. Don't be scared. Trust me, most people don't find me intimidating. <laughs> this is a first. Uh, tell me, is there any game in particular that appeals to you? Uh, no judgment. Hmm? Duel monsters? <laughs> How exciting! I don't mind telling you. I know quite a lot about duel monsters. Well, let's just say I have quite a seasoned history with the game. Oh. You want to play duel monsters, but are unsure of where to begin? I understand. Game of Duel Monsters has advanced far beyond the simple days of Duelist Kingdom, so these rule implementations can be discouraging to new players. Mm. Let me tell you what, I don't tell this to every customer, but the owner is my grandfather, and he was a very skilled duelist in his day. Although he shows his moments of age, he still has much wisdom to share. It's helped me throughout my life. He always told me, Yuki, it isn't the skill of the duelist or even the outcome of the duel, but the lesson you learn enjoying the battle. You learn your own strengths, weaknesses, and personal tastes, as well as your opponent's. And even through dueling, one can find friends that can last throughout even the bonds of time itself. It all comes from taking that first step and trying. And even if afraid to fail, one step towards victory and self-improvement is better than no step taken at all. Dueling can bring us all together and make us better people better duelist towards a better world. Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I got carried away again, didn't I? <laughs> you don't mind? Uh, thank you for your patience. <laughs> I just get fired up when discussing dueling. <clears throat> hmm? I mentioned Yuki? You mean to ask if I'm... Oh! 
Oh! <laughs> of course, how silly of me. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Yukimoto. Pleased to meet you. I understand I can be considered a little famous around these parts, but I like to think of myself as an ordinary duelist. I came from humble beginnings. You'd like to hear my story? Well, of course. Most people don't ask me. They usually ask for dueling advice, but wisdom is just as important. Well, let me tell you a little about how I became a duelist. From a young age, I was always a bit timid and shy. I never really believed in myself or my abilities. I always came to myself playing games and solving puzzles for my grandfather's shop. And when I went to school at Domino High, I even encountered my share of bullying. But my grandfather always told me to stay strong and believe in myself and the good in others to never doubt my own inner strength. After solving a particular puzzle, I met a new friend, shall we say. His name was Yami. We met under, um, unconventional circumstances, <laughs> but we became inseparable and true friends. We learned a lot from each other. He taught me the importance of courage and bravery. He showed me that fear is not something to be conquered, but rather something to be overcome. And that's what I want to teach you today. I want you to know that no matter how scared you may feel, you're capable of so much more than you think you are. I struggle a lot with self-doubt and confidence issues myself. So it's really great to hear someone who's been through something similar. Because I know you can face the internal challenge and come out on the other side. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't always easy. But the key is to never give up. You have to keep pushing yourself, even when you are afraid. And that's what I want you to remember. No matter how hard things get, you always have a choice. You can choose to give up, or you can choose to keep going. And I know that you're strong enough to keep going, no matter what. Yeah, I really believe that now. Remember, if you ever need to talk, I'm always here. And you're always capable of more than you think you are. You got this. Tell me, what's your favorite duel monsters card? I have particular preferences. I have my old friend, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, and even have a warm place in my heart for classics such as Summoned Skull, Mahavailu, and I really enjoy the newer variants of Silent Swordsman, Silent Magician, and Gandor, the Dragon of Destruction. Huh. That's a really cool card. You have great taste. You'd like a tutorial on how to play Duel Monsters? Sure, I don't mind. I'll be your teacher for your Duel Monsters lesson today. Let's start with the basics. The first thing you need to know is your deck. It's a list of 40 to 60 monsters, spells, and traps that you use to play the game. Here's an example of one of mine. 
<laughs> now, let's talk about the rules. In Duel Monsters, the goal is to reduce your opponent's life points to zero. You do this by summoning monsters, activating spells and traps, and attacking your opponent's monsters. The game has a lot of strategy involved, and it takes practice to get good at it. But don't worry, I'll be here to guide you every step of the way. Do you have any questions so far? To keep it simple, monsters are used to attack and defend, to take life points from the opponent, and defend your own. Magic, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Spell cards are used to apply multiple effects, like empowering monsters and other useful attributes. And trap cards are used as surprise defenses against enemy offense. Alright, now let's give it a try. Let's play a practice game and I'll help you through it. Remember, it's all about having fun and learning along the way. If you don't mind, I need to go first. Just to show you how it works. Is that okay? Okay. Uh... I think... I think I'll place Kuriko in defense mode. So you see how I just played a monster card? Well, you can also play spells and traps, but let's focus on monsters first. You can use these monsters to attack your, your opponent's life points. Once your life points reach zero, that's game over. There are many different methods of summoning monsters. There's the normal summon, which I just showed you. Then there's special summoning, and trivia summoning. Watch. This is Watabon. I can summon it to the field automatically as soon as I draw it. And as for tribute summoning, I tribute Karibo and Watabon in order to summon Dark Magician. See? There's also the issue of attacking. Each monster has its own stats, which determine its attack and defense points. If the attack points are higher of one monster, then the defense points on the defending monster, the attacker deals the difference to the defender. So let's just say that I have Mystical Elf on my field. Well, you have Celtic Guardian. If you attack my mystical elf with him, you would deal damage instead of me. This is where spell cards come to play. As I mentioned, spell cards are used to apply multiple effects. Let's say, for example, if your monster was higher than my Dark Magician, I would use an equipped card like this one, Magic Formula, to increase its attack power. There are other spells like this one. <laughs> Pretty famous, I know. Pot of Greed lets you easily draw two cards, but there's another one. And this one is one of my favorite spell cards, Graceful Charity. This one allows you to draw three cards, as long as you discard two from your hand. 
Then there's traps. They can certainly give you the advantage whenever you're stuck. For example, if you were to attack me, I would use something like a negate attack to stop it. Or if you were to play, like, a spell or a trap card, I would use some, like, magic jammer or trap jammer. It will immediately negate its effect right away. But, enough about the rules. It's time to put everything into practice. Let's have a test run. I'll walk you through every move, and we can stop if you have any questions. You did great. You learned so much in such a short amount of time. I'm really proud of you. Remember, the key is to stay calm and think through your moves. And above all, have fun. You know, before I met Yami, I used to be really scared of everything. It felt like my heart was always racing and my mind was filled with worries. I didn't know how to face my fears and stand up for myself. But Yami taught me that being brave doesn't mean not being scared. It means facing your fears and doing what you need to do, even when you're scared. He showed me that courage is something you have to practice like any other skill. You did great. You've learned so much in such a short amount of time. I'm really proud of you. Remember, the key is to stay calm and think through your moves, and above all, have fun. You know, before I met Yami, I used to be really scared of everything. It felt like my heart was always racing, and my mind was filled with worries. I didn't know how to face my fears and stand up for myself. But Yami taught me that being brave doesn't mean not being scared. It means facing your fears and doing what you need to do even when you're scared. He showed me that courage is something you have to practice like any other skill. It's okay to make mistakes. And it's okay to be scared. The important thing is that you keep trying and you never give up. That's what Yami taught me. It's the lesson I try to live by every day. You know, it's been a long journey for me. Learning how to be brave and facing my fears. Sometimes I still struggle with it, but I tried to remember the lessons Yami taught me. He always said that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. And that's something that has stuck with me ever since. He also taught me that I am strong and I am capable of so much more than I ever thought possible. He showed me that I have the power to change the world and to make a real difference. And that's something that has motivated me to keep pushing forward, even when things get tough. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's okay to be scared and it's okay to struggle, but it's also important to know that you have the power to overcome those fears and to become the person you want to be. With Yami by my side, I've learned that anything is possible. Do you ever get scared? Do you ever doubt yourself or feel like you're not good enough? Of course. 
course, all the time. I think that's just part of being human. And that's why I can relate to you so well. We all share a common struggle. My grandfather, Yami, and my friends, Jolie, Taya, Tristan, Bakura, Serenity, and Duke, always told me that being human is about experiencing a full range of emotions. Love, joy, anger, sadness, fear, and everything in between. It's about embracing the whole spectrum of emotions, not just the positive ones. Oh, definitely. I'm not immune to those feelings. But... The key is to not let them control you. To remember that you are stronger than your fears. And that you have the power to overcome them. That's something I need to work on. It's so easy to let my fears hold me back. I need to remember that I have the power to overcome them. So whatever challenges you're facing, wherever your journey takes you, I want you to remember that you're not alone. You have support, and you have the power within you to overcome whatever comes your way. You see, the world can be a scary place sometimes, but there are so many unknowns, so many uncertainties, and it's easy to get lost in all of that fear and uncertainty. But it's also a place of endless possibilities, of endless opportunities. And when we let fear hold us back, we miss out on all those possibilities. That's why it's important to be brave, to face our fears head on. Because when we do, we might just discover that the world is a much brighter place than we ever imagined. Does any of this help you at all? Uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> you always know how to make a guy smile. <laughs> Stop it. You're going to make me blush. <laughs> well, have some fun testing your skills around the store. If you need new cards, tips, or perhaps even wish to play a few games in your dueling club, feel free to say hi. It's been a pleasure meeting you, pal, and I hope to see you again soon. May the heart of the cards be with you. Always. <laughs>